So now let me tell about a modern technique to reduce emissions from engines. We will discuss about selective catalytic reduction technique. Now with the increase in the stringent norms to reduce emissions, we need to make our systems more efficient and more emission reduction techniques need to be developed. Some of the techniques available are two-way catalytic converter, three-way catalytic converter, exhaust gas recirculation, particulate filters, then lean NOx catalyst, diesel oxidation catalyst, and now we are going to discuss more on selective catalytic reduction. So as the name suggests, selective means mainly out of all the other emissions, it focuses on reduction of nitrogen. That's why selective. Catalytic because it increases the reaction speed with the help of catalysts. And reduction because it uses reduction and technique and reduces NOx by removal of oxygen. Thus reduction. Quite simple. Now this is one of the latest techniques developed to meet with the six stage emission norms which require very low nitrogen oxide levels. Thus it is fulfilled by this technique. Let's understand more about it. SCR technology is mainly used in diesel vehicles or CI engines. Some of the components as seen in the figure are the engine, then the gas which comes out, particulate filter, injector, various sensors connected to engine control unit, speed sensor and then urea tank which is important and a nozzle for pumping, injecting urea in the in the track. Then we have the SCR reactor which is the main component of all. It's not complex. Let's make it simple. Let me explain you the working of it. So in the beginning, the emissions coming from the engine get filtered through a particulate filter and then the gases, harmful gases then reach the oxidation catalyst zone where, where CO and other hydrocarbons are converted to CO2. Then we have the urea or the DEF. This is one of the main component of this system. Diesel exhaust fluid. It consists of 70% water and 30% aqueous ammonia. It is also called automobile urea. It is stored in a tank separately from which an injector injects right amount of urea with the help of the nozzle. The urea gets hydrolyzed with the water coming in and, and then converts into ammonia. Now the main part comes in. The ammonia reacts with the NOx and harmful nitrogen oxides and then is converted to nitrogen gas which is harmless. Also some water is released in the process. But sometimes there is excess ammonia remaining which is called ammonia spill. To avoid this oxidation catalyst is added and which converts into nitrogen and along with it all other gases are also reduced significantly like CO, hydrocarbons but mainly NOx is reduced. Now all this system is controlled by the engine control unit with the help of sensors. The sensors measure the NOx flow and accordingly send the ammonia it is all electronically controlled, so best results are obtained. As seen that it's effective in reducing almost all the emissions. NOx is mainly reduced up to 90%. Simultaneously, hydrocarbon and carbon dioxide also reduced from 50 to 90%. Particulate emissions are also reduced from 30 to 50%. SCR systems can be combined with diesel particulate filter as said and even more great emission reduction for particulate matter can be achieved. 
this making it a very cost effective and fuel efficient technology for today's emission norms mainly for the diesel emissions but everything has a small drawback here the drawback is extra space is required for urea or the def solution storage and also periodic refueling is required for the def solution for its proper functioning well this is compensated when engine oil is changed def is also changed in many vehicles now this is the most current technology used in mainly all the diesel using vehicles even in the truck industry sufficient econo fuel economy gains of 3 to 5% are observed thus making this one of the latest and most efficient system scr selective catalytic reduction hope you have enjoyed the video and got to learn from it thank you